Wet n Wild Gold Coast is Australia's largest water park, and with it being home to many world-class slides and attractions, there is no wonder it is many people's favourite too. However, today we're going to count down the top 10 rides at Wet n Wild. Starting off at number 10, we have Super Ripper, and no matter whether you are just slip and slide, like you have never done before, or you are just looking for another fun family attraction, then this new for 2021 slide is just for you. The only thing is, however, it is not for the faint of heart, because as soon as you have set off down the slide, not only will you get to experience such elements as a light-up tube and an infinity bend, but you will do all of this whilst racing another slider, creating a rather competitive and definitely scary experience that I would feel wrong not putting on our top 10 list. Who here is scared of the dark? Well I sure am, and if that is you too, then it is probably best to look away now. As for our number 9 position, we have the black hole which as you can probably guess by the name, is very, very dark. And you would not be wrong, with throughout its entire 165 meter tube, full of non-stop bank turns and drops, you will be in almost complete darkness, with only a few holes to let in the daylight. So yeah, even though its layout is not as crazy as Super Ripper, the darkness alone really brings this sliding adventure to another level. Do you think you have what it takes to head down the belly of a snake? Well, if your answer is yes, then look no further. As for our number 8 spot, we have Constrictor, where you can do exactly that. Although for me, what makes this slide so hysterical is not my horrendous puns, but the fact that it is a family raft slide, meaning you can watch your group's happy, laughing and screaming faces as you sliver your way through the body of the snake. How awesome does that sound? Just remember, they can also see yours too, so make sure not to scream too much, especially on that final plummet. It is time to get competitive, as for our number 7 position, we have Super 8 Aqua Racer, the ultimate racing slide, and I think the moment you see its 8 lane beast of a structure, it is very easy to see why, but let me explain anyway, because on this one of a kind racer slide, not only will you be able to duel up to 7 other racers, to the finish line, bounce over its many bumps on your front and get some crazy airtime moments too. But once you have made it to the end, make sure to look back as your time and position will be displayed on the screen behind you, showing who really is the Super A Aqua Racer Champion. Let's drop, rise and slide like never before. As for our number 6 spot, we have Kamikaze, and it has taken the phrase short but sweet up a notch, because despite only lasting for 30 seconds, which is definitely not that long, with it building up some pretty long queue lines, trust me when I say it is worth up to 2 hours, with as soon as you have boarded the mandatory 2 person dinghy, you dropping over the edge of the 11 meter structure, followed by a series of rocking up and down that pipe until you come to a complete stop. How incredible, but also rather petrifying is that. Top 5, work work and coming in for this position, we have Tornado, the park's giant funnel slide. And for anyone who has not done one of these before, well then hold on tight, because similar to Kamikaze, just 
a lot bigger and longer, you will begin your adventure by heading through a pitch black tube, followed by, you guessed it, an humongous 40 km an hour drop into a giant funnel section, causing even the bravest of thrill seekers in the group to be blown away. Didding ding. The question is, however, would you take a ride or rather watch from the ground level? Comment down below. Have you ever wanted to experience the fun and excitement of a water slide with the thrills of a coaster? Well, of course you have, and so you have got to take a ride on our number four spot, Kaboom. As on this one of a kind water coaster, you can do exactly that. However, as awesome as this may seem, it only gets awesomer with you encountering everything from lots of classic water slide twists and turns, to giant drops, to see-through tubes, to even airtime hills as you race another dinghy. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention it is also located of Australia's tallest water slide tower, which is pretty super if you ask me. Here we are at the top 3 rides at the park, and for our number 3 position, we have the almighty Aqua Loop, one if not the most intense slides on the planet, and I think as soon as you see its almost 45 degree tube loop, it is very easy to see why. Yet if you still think you have what it takes to slide, then brace yourself, as before you realise what you are getting yourself into, the floor will vanish, you will drop, race around that loop and then finally shoot out of the tube in a matter of seconds, where you will either want to take another ride, or swear that you will never, ever do it again. From shooting around an aqua loop to flying through the sky, for our number 2 spot, we have Sky Coaster, which is definitely not for the faint of hearts, and nor is it your normal flat ride either, because instead of just rising, dropping, as well as swinging over the wave for at 60 km an hour, as soon as you have made it to the top, not only can you take in those spectacular views across the park and surrounding area, but one of the three riders will also have to begin the petrifying experience by pulling that ripcord. Isn't that just bonkers? And so even though it is an upcharge attraction, a trip to Wet and Wild would be nowhere near complete without taking flight on the Sky Coaster. We have made it to the number one spot and in my eyes for the best ride at the park, we have got no other than Surf Rider. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, from the moment you walk into the park and see this giant rocking surfboard, you will instantly want to take a ride. And you should definitely do exactly that, as words literally cannot describe how surftastic it is to roll back and forth, higher and higher over those waves, whilst also spinning around. And so I think it is very easy to see why this is at our number one spot. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.